Hi YouTube, this is Kylie and I'm going to show you how I bath my hermit crabs. All you need is a plastic container, distilled or spring water. Don't fill it up too much because you don't want them to drown or anything like that. I have so many hermit crabs so I just put them all in one, one or two containers so they can hurry up and get a quick bath and so they can move around and hurry up and get clean. Um, I'm going to try to be very fast in this video so I can just show you and give you an example of how I bath my hermit crabs. Um, sometimes I bath them twice because I want to make sure they're clean and make sure they don't get mites or any sort, th sort of thing like that because we wouldn't want them to die or anything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put more in. So, there's another. And here's the big guy. He's going to go into. And then there's one more, but I don't think he wants to go. Well, he's going to get a bath. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. They're all in here. So just let them swish around. I know they don't have much room, but they already had a bath in separate containers, so they'll be alright. This is just the example showing you how to bath your hermit crabs. Just make sure they swish around and get water all over them. Sometimes you can just run a little bit of water over top of them if the water doesn't reach that part of their body or on top of their shell. Just make sure that they are clean and tidy because we don't want no mites or bacteria or anything to form in their shell. You want to make sure you get all the dirt and anything that is harmful towards them out. So make sure you bath them at least once a week. Some people do twice a week or once every two weeks depending on what you think is best for your hermit crabs. Um, just do on what you feel is best. But yeah, I see that they're trying to get out so I'm going to try to hurry this up. So after you um, have them in your container and they're already clean and you're ready to get them out, just have a separate container like this. And I know it has water in it right now, but all you got all you got to do is put paper towels or toilet paper or some kind of or t uh, even a towel to absorb water to dry them off. And then once they're completely dry, you can put them back in their habitat. Um, I'll show you their habitat, but my phone is charging right now, so I'll try to zoom in on it over there. One second. So they got like a hiding log and, um, some kind of tree log with four entrances. They got their food and water and their sand and a bridge and a coconut hut over there. And a tree, a big tropical tree. They got some plants. I know that the light's real bright because I have their light on, but um, I'll have to make another video on their habitat. So, that's what it looks like. And um, down below I got some extra shells and a different, like, um, well, it could be a bathtub or a food container, and their food's up on top. I can't really, I don't think you can see. I have three containers up there. And one is hermit crab food. I'm not sure what brand. The second is shrimp legs and that grinded hermit crab food. So I'll just make another video later showing you guys what I used and what all I have in my tank. And it will be very high quality. But that's it for now. Here's the Hermes. Um, I gotta zoom back out. Um, I'm gonna get them out now. So we'll talk to you later. Bye!